All right, everyone. Well, this is a, uh, another video about bioidentical hormones. And this one's really simple and straightforward. Basically, how to apply compounded hormone creams. Do you realize that if you apply compounded hormone creams in a different way, you can dramatically change both the peak effect and the duration of the effect, and you can definitely affect how much of the hormone you're intending to take actually gets in your system. So let's get started. So these are what the dose clickers look like, and compounded hormone creams have a lot of potential benefits over other alternatives. First of all, if you do this right, you can get a great steady 24-hour hormone level day after day after day without the roller coasters. Go watch our video on pellets and injections, and you'll see what I mean about that. This mimics the release of hormones from the ovary or the testes better than any other way. There's no liver first past breakdown. Everything we swallow goes to the liver first. And the liver specifically does not prefer us to eat sex steroids, especially estradiol and progesterone. So it tries to break those down and that leads to a very unpredictable response. This avoids that. You can customize the dose. You can mix it up any way you want. You get these wonderful meter dosing containers by the way, if you're using compounded hormones from somewhere else and they're giving it to you in a syringe or you have to use a spoon, you need to change pharmacies because these are the standard of care and they will give you a dose at plus or minus 5%, which is basically pharmaceutical grade accuracy. So we measure the hormones at greater than pharmaceutical grade precision and we put it in a dispensing device that's pharmaceutical grade. Therefore, this is a pharmaceutical grade treatment. All of these levels are trackable on salivary testing, so you don't have to worry about calculating what the liver might do to the hormone um, before it even gets to the tissue in the first place. They're carry-on eligible, so they're small enough that you can put it in your bag of gels and liquids and take it in your carry-on. And a couple things that are specific for the creams we prescribe and we dispense in our office is low volume dosing. We specifically make your dose at two clicks or 0.5 cc's. Most other compounders will dispense your dose in four clicks, which is twice as much volume that you have to rub in, twice as much skin surface area that you'll need to find. This is the default dose for all of our prescriptions. Next, that is crucially important. Never, ever, ever use your hands to rub in the cream. Okay, never ever use your hands to rub in the cream. Look, this isn't sunscreen. This isn't some lotion for dry skin. You have to put this on in a scientific way. The cream will not absorb through your hands and your hands will become a transmission surface where everything you touch, doorknobs, countertops, remote controls, pets, baby toys, steering wheels, coffee cups, just don't do it this way, okay? All right, let's move on. So this is just for one particular prescription, and that is women who are still cycling on cyclic progesterone cream for PMS or for cycle control. We typically will have you dose at day 12 to 25. And it comes in these little click containers, our lab that'll either be pink or red or purple. And here's what you do. Our demonstration clicker looks different, but you're gonna click it twice. That's it, you'll hear the audible clip. You're going to put it on your forearm, on the non-hair growing area, and you're gonna rub it forearm to forearm. You can rub as far down as the wrist if you want, and you will keep rubbing both surfaces together like you're rubbing two sticks to start a fire until both surfaces are warm and dry and there is no white cream residue anywhere. And this should take about 30 seconds, maybe a little bit more. And then you check at the end, ensure that it's dry, and you are good. That is for cyclic creams. We want it to go on thin surfaces so it gets in quickly and gets out quickly. And that's one of the thinnest surfaces on the body and the only real thin surface on the body where you can get to without using your hands. All other daily dosing will have cream packaged in the gold, black, white, silver, or if you're doing progesterone cream continuously, or it'll be in these other clicker containers that uh, you saw in the video. And so this is every other type of prescription we do, every non-cyclic prescription we do. And you're gonna start the same way, you're gonna click it twice. You're gonna apply it to the forearm in the same way, but this time I want you to dry it off on your upper 
and enter phi. Now, if you want to switch sides with these applications, you certainly can. You can do odd numbered left, even numbered right, but you're going to continue to rub until it's all gone. This gives you a thin surface and a somewhat thicker surface. Now, if you don't have a lot of body fat, you can also choose to dry your forearm off on your lower abdomen. If you do have thick body fat there, though, more than pinch an inch, I would prefer you go to your leg. That's going to give you a better 24-hour level. Fat will slow down the absorption of a hormone. And if your hormone is taking more than 24 hours to absorb, guess what? You're going to slowly start to build up a reserve of the hormone. You want to use all 24 hours that day. So in summary, don't use hands. Don't ever, ever, ever use hands. When you're done, cap the cream tightly. You should hear the cap click or snap. Never touch any surface with moist skin. You should really continue rubbing those surfaces together until there is no moisture whatsoever. But if you do have a little bit of moisture, say on your forearms, don't go up to the kitchen table and lean your for lay your forearms right on the table immediately or on the kitchen counter or around the sink. Always, always, always do two clicks. That's typically how we write our creams, unless it's otherwise stated on the label or in one of our visits. And if you have used your hands in the past to apply creams, I want you to go and scrub your doorknobs, your counters, your remotes with a fat soluble cleaner, a bathroom cleaner, Murphy's oil soap or something like that. Scrub all of these surfaces one time very intensively and switch over to this way of putting on cream and you will get absolutely fantastic results so of course follow us or subscribe on all these different channels i hope you found this helpful and uh, i appreciate you watching take care